Well, right now, Christian County, the, the biggest challenge is, is numbers. The county's grown almost exponentially. In the last 10 years, the county's grown 42% population, and the county government hasn't been able to keep up. And uh, we're, we're faced with, um, a, a, it's a game of numbers. Um, we have 0.67 officers per thousand population. Uh, the national average is two officers per thousand population. Um, we're going to continue to do what we've been doing the last three and a half years, come up with uh, innovative ways to use the money that the county pro uh, provides for, for us uh, to, to do just that. To, uh, we, the last three and a half years, we developed a, a patrol plan that was much more effective than what we've been using. Uh, we, we got 33% more out of our fuel ration in the last two and a half years than we did previously. We, the county asked for money back because of the financial straits the county was going through, and we were able to do that and still meet our, meet our needs. So, thank you. I'm in total stop. Do you need the question repeated? What's the biggest challenge facing county law enforcement today, and what is your solution? If I'm sheriff of Christian County on August the 7th, I, I will bring the leadership to the county. I think that need to address that. First of all, if we have a good sheriff, then we will have good people to follow us. Thank you. Mr. Reynolds, this question is to you. It's a little biased. Ideally, what kind of relationship should law enforcement have with the media? <laughs> I think they should have a good working relationship with the media. I know Joey does. I watch him on TV. I know if there's something going on in Christian County, that's about the only way that we can get it out to the citizens in case of an emergency or something. So we need to work with the media as best we can. Yes, sir. Ideally, what kind of relationship should law enforcement have with the media? Symbiotic. Um, it's and it's the pose that we've adopted for the last three and a half years. Um, the media has a job to do, law enforcement has a job to do, and we can enhance each other's job by working together, by cooperating. And I hope that uh, we've made that plain in the last three and a half years that we are very cooperative. Um, Don and I have visits at least twice a month uh, and just sit down and talk about things that are going on. Um, if, um, uh, you know, transparency is the key. If um, there's something going on inside the agency that needs to be uh, made public. Um, you know, it'll be made public, whether it makes me look good or whether it makes me look bad. Um, I think if the people think you're a human being, if you are susceptible to making human mistakes, they'll trust you more than if uh, you pretend to be perfect and make perfect decisions all the time. This next question goes, starts with Joey. It's to both of you. Can you explain to the audience what a com community policing model is and whether you would or are employing that method? Why or why not? It's funny because uh, traditionally the sheriff and the sheriff's office was the original community-oriented policing or, or community policing model. Um, I spent 18 months on Commercial Street being a COP officer in Springfield Police Department. So yeah, uh, we, we've uh, attempted to apply that the COP model to um, what we do. And essentially what COP model is, is it's, it's to uh, become more in tune with the public and to work with the public as opposed to working at the public or working above the public. Uh, we try to get them involved. Uh, neighborhood watch programs, their programs, uh, these types of um, uh, crime prevention programs, you know, these are ways. I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna be there when you're gonna need a cop. There's 78,000 people in this county, and I got 80 deputies. Well, we're going to come and pick up the pieces, so we need you to help us, and that's what these uh, programs are about. My question? That's part two. Oh, part two. I'm sorry. <laughs> the community policing. Right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Reynolds. You're fine. Yeah. Can you explain to the audience what a community policing model is and whether you would employ that method if you're elected, why or why not? 
Yes, I would employ it. I would want it to have the DARE program. I want to work with the uh, schools, the civic organization, to make sure that they're aware of what's going on, especially in our drug problems in our schools. Also, if I'm elected, I plan on trying to have a citizens on patrol. I'd like to have one car that has citizens on patrol on it. They have people from Nixa, Ozark, uh, Saddlebrook have told me that they would appreciate it if I could set up a, a car like that. They would not have the power of arrest, but they would be able to patrol their area in their part of the county if they see suspicious vehicles or something like that going on. They write down the license number, call it in. If something goes on in that area, I will have something to work on. This question will start with you, Mr. Reynolds. Is it more important for a sheriff to be a politician, a business manager, or a tough cop? <laughs> Is it more important for a sheriff to be a politician, a business manager, or a tough cop? Business manager, I would say. You have to deal with the citizens of Christian County. So if you're a if you're a tough cop, you know, people realize that. And, uh, so you, you gotta, you've got to be a leader. Like I said, you've got to be a leader for the county. You have to have the, re the respect of the citizens of Christian County. That way we can all work together and solve the problems that we have. Thank you. Is it more important for a sheriff to be a politician, a business manager, or a tough cop? Well, I don't get to be a cop much anymore, so I guess we can rule that one out. But I think you need a combination of all three, and you need to do various times. Um, there are times when um, I like to get out and um, do some patrol stuff. Uh, I'm not as tough as I used to could, as the song says. Um, but be, being a business manager is extremely important because the vast majority of what I do is, uh, uh, is manage the budget, uh, uh, make policies. Um, it's, it's, it's almost like running a business to a certain degree. Uh, you have to, uh, and Dale's right, yeah, you, do, you need to have good leadership, um, but you also need good people. And uh, uh, it, sometimes it's like herding cats. Other times it's, uh, they know exactly what they need to do. Um, training them, uh, giving them to the leeway to do the job that you, you're asking them to do, and then giving them the authority and the, and the discretion to be able to carry out that mission. So it's, uh, it's all three. All right, this next question. Next question is from the audience. It's for both of you. We start with Joey. What is your opinion of the TSA? And does the, what this person thinks, unconstitutional police agency like the TSA deserve your respect? The TSA, the individuals, you need to understand it, 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 there's nothing wrong with them per se. It, they're just doing a job. It's the policy and the way it's being carried out that's been implemented inappropriately. We need airport security. security. Um, that's a given. I mean, the Israelis have got it down pat. And some of you may agree, some of you may not agree, um, but they do profiling. And we've got to get away from this thing called racial profiling. Race ain't got anything to do with it. Race is a small portion of profiling, but you have to profile. Cops do it every day, and they do it appropriately every day. Um, but there's some people in their government that have, has gotten to the point where they, they, they made a bad word out of it. And it's not. It's just part of no police work. Overall, uh, the TSA, you know, uh, again, I reiterate, uh, the individuals, what they're trying to accomplish is not a bad thing. It's the policies and the way that it's being carried out that's what's wrong. Mr. Reynolds, what is your opinion of the TSA, and does any unconstitutional police agency like the TSA deserve your respect? I believe they have a job to do, and at this time, they are fulfilling, fulfilling the obligations that they have. But for us to work with them, and my opinion is that they're doing a good job. 